Okay, this is like the fifth time I've tried doing this. It's driving me nuts. I only have five minutes to explain. So, I've got an Arduino the other day. Uh, I spent the past couple days going all over the internet trying to figure out how to use it. I have a program called Max MSP that you probably have if you're looking for this on the internet. Um, you need to download it. If you want to use it with your Arduino, you need to get a file which I have a link for called Max Reno. You're going to want the 007 package, which is what helped me because it has a, a file called Arduino Test. Arduino Test, uh, Max Patch. Um, I throw that into Max MSP after in the uh, Arduino software that you have to download when you get an Arduino. This is the Arduino. You plug it into the, your USB, then you go to the. This is my Arduino right there. It takes forever to switch over to it. But yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a crappy picture and it's tons of lag. But the uh, that's the Arduino. You go into the Arduino software that you have to download from their website. You'll see it all inside of the packaging that you get. And then you you load, uh, go to File Examples Fermata Standard Fermata. Then you go to Tools. You get the right uh, input output settings for your USB port to communicate with your Arduino. You'll have to figure that on your own. You just go and look for your USB port. You'll get some blinking lights when you get the right one. Then you can start communicating. Uh, then you uh, you have to upload the file onto your Arduino. Um, so do the standard formata. You load that onto your Arduino. And then you load the file into Max MSP the Maxuino file which is the Arduino test which gives you a graphic user interface of the uh, pins in the Arduino what you do here is you uh, select your serial port inside of uh, Maxuino by pressing this, mu this button right here and select your USB port that the Arduino is plugged into mine's this one right here when you select it you get a bunch of blinking the Arduino is telling you that he's talking and that he's happy uh, if my freaking webcam wouldn't stop crashing, I'd show you all this stuff. But it's taking me forever to get this done, and I don't want to waste any more time. So what you do is you uh, these are your analog pins right here. You select the zero one. That's what I did, and then it starts monitoring it down here, and it's not moving. So what that tells me is that this thing isn't working, and I'm about to freak out because. I'm really tired of redoing this video. There we go. Okay, cool. So, you see the changing numbers down here, which means that it's reading the analog port. I just had to reset some settings. So then you go over here, and what I'm doing is I'm I have a wire plugged in to the Arduino right here. You just notice right here on these numbers that we're monitoring down here that I'm getting a 1, and what I'm doing is I'm touching two wires together on the analog side of the Arduino, and the other wire is plugged into the zero port, the analog zero port. Um, let me see if I can get a better shot of it. My setup before was so much better, it looked awesome, but it kept on freezing up, and I had a bunch of problems with it, so I'm just going to do this crappy quality here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the analog zero wire, which is this one that I'm blocking the view of the camera with, right there, connecting it to the 5 volts. And when I do that, I'm getting a red LED, which you can't see either. There you go. See the red light? That's happening because I'm touching those two wires together. And when I'm touching those two wires in like five minute installments, it's shitty software I just paid $15 for. Okay, so there it is. I'm touching, when I touch these two wires together, bam. You notice that this turns to one, and that when you go into edit mode, press a little lock at the bottom of the screen or press command E I got a patch cord from the output of this over to the input of this which is a button that turns port 13 on which I have my LED plugged into my LED <coughs> you gotta put the long the long leg of the LED into the into the 13 port because current only flows in one direction with an LED so when I press this two things together bam I got a one patch cord tells this thing to turn on which turns that LED on in real time which is pretty cool next video we'll do 